Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, we have something special down here at Birdland this evening. Hi, I'm Dan Rosenstark with MIDI Designer, and in this video, I'm going to show a new feature for 1.51 called Named Ticks. We've always had ticks on a control. Ticks are the levels, you know, as a control goes from one step to another step. You can call them steps, you can call them ticks. We've always had that, but now uh, named ticks bring that to a new level. And it's one of our most often user requested features. And uh, I'm pretty excited that it's going to be out in 1.51. And I'm also excited to see how people are going to use it. I'm going to uh, show what we have in MIDI Designer now. I enter design mode, I create a knob, and I'm going to size it up. And now I've got a knob that goes from 0 to 127. Normally, uh, if we were using some kind of 14 bit value, it would go from 0 to 16383, etc. Um, and this is consistent where the display is actually showing the MIDI value. Uh, so if I go into more log, the log over here, and now you can see that the MIDI value is going up to 127 and going down to zero. This makes sense and now I want to change what's displayed on the knob. I want the knob to look different but I don't want it to send anything different. So I go into design mode, double tap the knob, go into properties, display min max and I'm just going to change this from negative four to four and of course I could go backwards can do um, I could have uneven values on both sides, but this is a pretty typical application where I go from negative 4 to 4, but note that this is still glissing between values, so it's actually still sending all the intermediate values. So I'm going to change the number of steps, which we call ticks in MIDI Designer, and if I change the number of ticks to 9, we'll have an equal number, we'll have 4 on the bottom, 4 on the top, and that 0 in the middle which actually is sending out 64, right? So I go from negative four to zero, that sends out uh, 64, and I get up to four, okay? So this is ticks before name ticks in MIDI Designer. And now let's show what name ticks can do. I go back into design mode, double tap here, go into advanced, and I'm going to tap on name ticks. Convert your ticks, yeah, I'm going to have these nine ticks are going to get converted and now I can assign each of them a name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call zero uh, min zero and I'm going to call 64 midpoint. Uh, you'll have more useful names of course. And I'm going to call the top one max or maxed out. Okay, now you can see that when I get to each value, this says min zero, this says midpoint, and this says maxed out. So that's pretty interesting, and that's one of the things you can do. Of course, this follows the LED color and other stuff like that. So if I change, as I change the LED color, this will change. And right now it's sized with the label. We'll see what MIDI designer users think of that. We might decide not to do that. We might decide to have it follow the size of the numeric label, which always follows the knob in this case. Anyway, um, so this is one of the things that you can do is give, step, give, give your steps names. But another thing that you can do, and this is a really interesting possibility, I think, and I'm interested to see what users do with this, is I can take this point in the middle and I can call this Big Max. It doesn't matter what I call it, of course, that's arbitrary. But what is interesting is I'm going to call this 127. And I'm going to give it a display name that looks like 999. And I'm going to leave the rest of it the same for now. And now I can do this type of thing. The knob gets to the middle and it sends out a 127. And it gets to the bottom and sends out a 0. And it gets to the top and it sends out a 127 again. 
So we can go adjusting these ticks as we need to. So one of the simplest applications would be that you're going through a set of program changes and you want to reorder them. You can do that with named ticks by merely changing the MIDI value that's sent for a particular tick or you can move it around. And one thing that we've included um, at the request of uh, Rainer, who's one of uh, the biggest community contributors for MIDI Designer, was to uh, add in a text editor so that you can just go in here and you can take all this stuff, select all, copy it, paste it, take it into a text editor and edit it. Here it's actually assuming um, that we're not going to use the display values at all, so it's going to do them automatically. They'll be 1 through uh, 9 uh, in this case, uh, 1 through 8 in this case, but, uh, sorry, 1 through 9 in this case, but uh, if we wanted to, um, we could also include the display values. So, you know, it's an interesting uh, possibility for faster work. So we've got that, we've got the editor in here, we've got automatic renumbering. So I can go into the display renumbering and say, I want to go from negative four to four, like I said before. And it's going to automatically renumber. These are the display values. So it automatically renumbered, now they go from negative four to four, and I can even automatically renumber the MIDI values to go from any particular MIDI minimum to a maximum, depending on the message, uh, the MIDI message type that that control is sending. So that's name ticks. Uh, that should be out soon, probably at the beginning of May in 1.5.1. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, uh, please get in touch with me via the MIDI Designer site. Thanks for watching.